Right, okay, so welcome to our new topic 36, which is describing geometric patterns. Okay, we have a hexagon here. Describing this is a pattern of hexagons. All right, each hexagon is bigger than one another. Okay, or before describing how the pattern was made, I added one more match. Okay, to each side of each hexagon. Each hexagon has one more match in each side than the hexagon of the left. Okay, so this is what we have. Uh, if you check the the first one is six, which means the second one it has doubled to twelve. The third one eighteen, etc. Right. Okay. So now they are saying describe the following patterns and extend them. Okay. Name the polygon. The polygon is not starting from this marble. It is starting from this one. This is what we call the polygon. So, which means we count the number of sides. One, two, three, four, five. Which means we are talking about a pentagon. Okay. So, how do you get the one um, from the one stage to the next? Okay. So, I'm adding. I'm adding a marble. On each side okay so this is what we've done we've added this 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 okay so which means we've added five marbles okay so the first one has five the second one has ten the third one must have 15 the fourth one 20 then the fifth one is 25 which means the tenth one we're just saying multiply by five which means it has got 50. that's what is there then we move on to b b we have one two three four five pentagons okay so these are pentagons okay so what are we doing here because we have come from these five then we go to ten okay so we are we are adding two pentagons on every pentagon okay so which means the first one is five then ten Okay, then 20. Okay, then um, 30. Then 20, sorry, then 40. Okay, so it is just doubling itself, then 80. Okay, so I think on the 10th one you must have... Um, let's see we have eight a day i think you must have 4096 if i'm not mistaken let's try to prove it using the calculator okay you can also try all right so we have um let's see the 61 we are saying going to say 80 times 2 we get 160 the seventh one we say times two we get 320 okay then the eighth one times two we get 640 then the ninth one is times two we get 1208 then the tenth one times two we get 2560 so that's our correct answer okay just a point of correction there so it's 2560 that's the 10th one then we go to c 
compare the pattern in 1A and B. Okay, so um, the first one, you add, you add 5, or it is growing by 5 marbles. But the second one is doubling itself. Okay. So that's the difference between the two. Then we go to the next one. On the next one, it is saying on question two, look at the geometric pattern and answer the questions. Label the pattern by saying which pattern is first, second, third, and fourth. So this one is the first one, second, then third, then fourth. Okay, so name the polygon. If you count here, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's an octagon. Okay. Then after that, how do you get from the one stage to the next? So if you check here, we are adding again a marble on every side. Okay. So the first one, it has got eight marbles. Second one is 16. So it's more like it is what? Doubling itself. Then the third one is 32. Okay. Then the fourth one, let me say 32 multiply by 264 by 2, 128. Then the sixth one, we are saying, let me just write here, the sixth one, it's 128 by 2, you get 256. The seventh one, by 2, we get 512. The eighth one, by 2, you get 1,024. Then the ninth one, by two, we get 2,048. Then the tenth one, by two, 4,096. So that's what we have. So the tenth one is 4096. Describe this pattern. So this pattern, um, first of all, the shape, shape or polygon is a hexagon. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So it is uh, doubling itself also. On its size. That's what is happening there. Okay. All right. So I think there we are done there. That's what we have there on topic thirty six.